Hi, I'm James, a digital human. You can ask me about NVIDIA and its products. Hi, James. What is Blackwell? NVIDIA Blackwell is a platform that enables generative AI on trillion parameter large language models at up to 25x less cost in energy consumption than the NVIDIA Hopper architecture. Say hi to my YouTube viewers. Hi to all your YouTube viewers. Now you are able to create digital humans like this. You are able to create 3D protein sequence like this in more detailed fashion based on the amino acid sequence. You are automatically able to generate multiple molecules like this and be able to identify which molecule matches perfectly with the protein sequence to be able to fast track drug discovery. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. NVIDIA NIM Agent Blueprints simplifies the process of deploying multiple large language models together to complete a task such as multimodal PDF data extraction, build a digital human, build a generative virtual screening pipeline. So when we take multiple PDF data extraction, it involves three different models. Google Dplot translate images of plots into tables. Mistral 4B version 3 is used for re-ranking and embed QA is for embedding. So putting it all this thing together for the purpose of multimodal PDF data X, that is blueprint. We are going to quickly go through these examples on how this makes the work easy to deploy these models together to perform a task. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Thanks to NVIDIA for sponsoring this video. So we are going to see three different examples. The first one which we just saw, multimodal PDF data extraction. So here is an example. Already is provided with 370 files. They are earning reports and business documents, 501 files. So here we can click extract data sets to try this workflow. Now you got a few questions here. How much did Amazon net sales increase in second quarter of 2023? So now based on that, here is a response. Amazon's net sales increased 11%. So this is based on all these uploaded documents. So this is just an example, but you will be able to deploy this on-prem or even locally, which I will show that in a bit. Next, we are going to see how you can build a digital human with multiple large language model. So let's listen to this. Hello, I'm James, a digital human. Feel free to ask me anything about NVIDIA and its products. Tell me about Blackwell. The Blackwell architecture is a next generation GPU design that powers the Jetson Thor based computer for humanoid robots, delivering 800 teraflops of 8 bit floating point AI performance. This is really good. Imagine the future, all virtual assistant. And this is based on the knowledge base already fed into the computer. So here is the blueprint card. So this is how it works. First, when I spoke, the audio is taken in, then that is sent to the feedback data. It's like a RAG application. So it extracts the relevant information from the vector database, send that to the RAG application. Then that response is passed to the Levin Labs text-to-speech. And then the audio is returned back here. Then the audio is sent to the audio to face model. Then using that, we are rendering the 3D animation and then it's processed as a video streaming and it is visible to us. So we can easily deploy this using Blueprint. So we got the option here, download Blueprint, click on that, then it will automatically generate the API key and you can use this API key to deploy these models and the whole architecture. So the full code is in GitHub, just click this link and here is the code. Here you got step-by-step -step guide how you can deploy this in your own server. Inside the deploy folder, you got Docker Compose. So if you got Docker, you can just log in using Docker login and then Docker compose up to build the whole infrastructure. Next, we are going to see about build a generative visual screening pipeline. So what does that mean? So it involves three different models. As you can see here, AlphaFold, MolMim, Generate, DiffDoc. This will speed up the process of drug discovery. As you can see here, there's a protein molecule. So this is from one model. So the AlphaFold is generating the protein molecule, as you can see here. So for each protein, there is an amino acid sequence. Based on that, Google DeepMind team created this alpha fold model. Next, we got the MolMim model. So this automates the process of generating molecules. There are more than 10 to the power six molecules, and we can able to choose what molecule you want to try. 
and this AI will automatically generate multiple molecules. Now the next step, the molecule generated is shown here. So now we need to match these molecules with alpha fold. So the molecule should easily be able to get added to the protein. So there are multiple factors and multiple parameters. So before this invention, it's very difficult to match a molecule to the respective protein. And this simplifies the process. So how we are bringing the protein and the molecule together, that's when we have the third model, that is diff doc model. So using all these three models, we are able to speed up the process of drug discovery. Same as before, we are able to download the blueprint by clicking this button and it will take you to the GitHub code repo and you should be able to deploy with Docker Compose. When you see the blueprint, here is the blueprint. So when the user enters the protein sequence, so here I'm able to choose what protein sequence I want. That's what we see here. Then that is fed to the alpha fold, which generates the protein 3D image. Similarly, when we choose the molecule type, then the MOLMIM model will automatically generate the different molecule. And finally, it's fed to the diff doc model, which combines both. This is really good. Overall, NVIDIA NIM agent blueprint is nothing but multiple large language model put together in an easily deployable fashion to perform a talk or simplify a process. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.